You know, uh, Myrtle and I spoke at T- Canatech last year, November. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you were there for a, yeah. a day or two, yeah? We were there, yeah. You were there? We were there. Um, uh, saw Kay since the lockdown and his crew at Canatech have been putting on these webinars. There was mm-hmm. one this week about extractions and stuff. I saw that, yeah. When you think that South Africa's really advanced and we think we've got it together and we're doing it, mm. It's still alchemy around here. There's people mm. cooking out there. So what? Um, Saul is joining us. I think he's there. Saul is there. There he is. Hey, Charles. How are you? Yeah, How's man. it going, Saul? Wow, man, that's so cool. It's such short notice, Saul. We got the email from you yesterday about a another virtual webinar thing that Canatech is putting together on Monday lunchtime in South Africa. So thank you so much for joining us in Johannesburg from Tel Aviv. Tell us before we get into your webinar, how's it going in Tel Aviv? We haven't spoken to anybody in the Middle East at all during these crazy times. Are you healthy? How's the family? Family's all well, thank God. Uh, Israel's been in lockdown for going on eight weeks. My son closed 70 days in the army, then broke his leg, so now got out. Um, but it's it's been tough, you know, this new reality that we're living with, that, uh, you know, essential services only, nothing has been open. Uh, but we've just got news today that school's going back Sunday, normal, uh, back to regular, and thank God the the amount of cases that we have is low, um, and the daily uh, rate is going down, the death rate is going down, so it seems that we're at least at the end of this uh, curve, and hopefully there's no second wave, and we can get back to business as normal. You know, we, um, we, uh, most of the pictures I see all of my life of your part of the world is military, pretty much, all of my life. We've got a lot of military in South Africa now that have been mobilized to supposedly help with the, with everything, uh, to to police the, the, the virus, as it were. Have you got an increased military presence to, to actually police people in their houses? Do you feel oppressed? Not oppressed. I mean, there were some pretty draconian laws we were allowed to leave 100 meters from our house for exercise or walking your dog otherwise we were locked down um and the police were giving i think thousand shekels which is uh you know a few thousand rand uh ticket for anyone who was breaking uh house arrest so to speak uh but anyone in essential services <coughs> doctors, nurses pharmacists could move around uh pretty freely uh, that's, yeah, that's just the situation. We took it pretty seriously because we're a small country, very close-knit, uh, and we've got a very high level of security surveillance anyway, so we're all kind of used to that. Uh, you know, the government set up a tracking um, algorithm and they knew where everyone was, where everyone who had been infected had been. Uh, they were pretty on top of tracking us digitally. Do you think it was a really good excuse for them to do that? This thing came along. They've been itching to do that for so long. There's lots of talk of it in South Africa. We don't have the level of surveillance that you guys do, but it's on its way. You can feel it coming. Yeah, it's like they want to first of all they want to they want to give an app to everybody, and I yeah. think it would be voluntary to begin with, but it won't take long to be compulsory. Yeah, you reckon they're not tracking your phone anyway? They probably are. Oh yeah, big time. So it. I noticed it didn't take you guys long at Canatec to actually morph and evolve when you realised it wasn't going away in a couple of weeks. You've really done some great stuff over the weeks. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy every email that I get from you. Um, it's just opening up all sorts of different avenues because we feel it's a little bit cut off again, kind of, because we're at the bottom of Africa and all the borders are closed. So tell us what's happening on Monday, Saul. Tell us what the next big... Uh, extravaganza is while we roll a few pictures of Canatec in um, in uh, Cape Town last year. Sure. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to remain relevant digitally, which is our strength has always been connecting the ecosystem. You know, we're based out of Israel, but our reach is pretty global at this point, and people have a lot of time on their hands. So uh, we dug into the ecosystem here in Israel to give everyone around the world a deep look at some of the companies, some of the researchers, and what makes Israel special, which is that it's so so small, and within three hours, I've got 
Professor Meshulam in Jerusalem and Betty Meiri at the Technion in Haifa and 20 growers, uh, dispensaries, patients, universities and hospitals. And that all sort of works to, to push the, the innovation forward. So we wanted to highlight this as, as something, you know, that everyone could get a feel for what's going on here and uh, learn from some of the experts and see some of the tech that's coming out. And I think, you know, we pulled together a whole bunch of different technology suites in order to do this. And I, you know, I kind of look at what our Israeli government did for online learning uh, for my kids who for two months have been at home and haven't done anything. Uh, and they kind of left it up to each teacher to prepare and do it for themselves. And they're not tech people and they don't know how to pull this together. So we found the best technology. We're, uh, you know, using a custom uh, site called Crowdcast, which has very, very good engagement around the community that are watching these presentations, whether they live or recorded. And it'll feel like a TV show, very much like what you, you're doing here. Uh, and then it'll be available online for anyone to come back um, and view these, uh, you know, uh, interactions. And then we built a web uh, portal with a map of Israel. Uh, I don't know if I can share my screen. Maybe that'll work. There it is. Mm. Maybe that's coming. It's coming. No? No, it's coming. All right, well, oh, it's coming. There we go. But, but then nothing. Yeah. All right. Oh no, we, but we've got we. You know what? We've got that. I think we've got that kind of check three sixty loaded. That is the link that was on the uh, on the website. We could probably load that for ourselves here. All right. Perfect. So, so we can make it full screen. Yeah. No, I think we we have that link uh, loaded. So you carry on, and we'll get that in the background. Right. So yeah, we we created this interactive map which allows everyone to click. On the companies that are active, we created a landing page for them, uh, which gives them access to learn a little more, connect directly with uh, the companies in the, the deep dive. And uh, it's definitely kept me busy over the last few weeks, uh, interviewing people, getting them ready for this. And, you know, it's a, a, a heavy lift, a digital event. Who knew? So now, as I understand, um, there's an entry fee to this one, and there hasn't been an entry fee to many of the others. So this is quite a big deal, this one, yeah? You've done, there's a lot, there's a lot going on because now there is some sort of entrance <coughs> to it, or is that just to restrain the amount of people you can operate with? Well, we, we chose a very reasonable price point of $36 for five hours of content. Incredible, uh, that's you great. Know, we're testing the market. Anyone who's been to a Camatech uh, and uh, we'll give you a ticket to come and enjoy it. Uh, this is this is a trial run for us that we want to regionalize this, and we can then do Latin America focused, Australia focused, Africa focused, hemp focused learning uh, at a very reasonable price point. Because you know, to come to a Canadec, you've been to it. It's a very heavy production. Uh, we really you know, to try and get the design and feel right so that the interactions are correct. And I think we're doing that with our digital platform as well, which is, you know, one of our goals. Well, you can see that we do exactly the same thing in this studio here, look. I mean, this is quite, this is a high-tech production, dude. Look at this high, stuff. High There's <clears throat> no expense spared in any of the deco. <laughs> These guys get paid a fortune. <laughs> Here's the, um, um, if you go to Canatech, We'll put the, the link is already in the in this the bio for this um, for this gig here. Um, go and have a look. It is thirty six dollars, and to put that into perspective, it, it is the price of a black a black market bottle of Clip Drift at the moment. At current rate. Yep. <laughs> Rather so, educate yourself than suppress yourself. They've got a they've got a wealth of speakers. As Saul says, it's five hours long. Log in. Stick it on the screen and do your thing and just come back to it in and out as, as, as the day evolves. So that's kind of why we got hold of Saul at very short notice, because this is 
different to like a Zoom conversation. This is to, on to the next level with this, um, what did you call it? Crowdcast. I had a look at Crowdcast and um, I don't know, I think, you're, I think you're on the future there, Saul. Yeah, I think we, we pulled together some amazing partnerships. Uh, one is with Event High, uh, which is a platform like Eventbrite, uh, which allows you to monetize your events in any way. So if you want to host a um, session painting naked smoking weed, you can actually do that online now and charge people to join you. Um, so Event High's got the, the ability to reach a large audience and for everything niche from masterclasses in extraction, which we've been testing uh -huh. our webinar series to see what engagement we get around it, um, you know, that can be targeted to walk online education and uh, you know further learning so event high is one of our, our latest partnerships uh, we also partnered with a group out of the united states called mazakali who are offering a, a deal making platform so we're sourcing both deals and investors to come onto an accredited uh, investor platform platform to see cannabis deals uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And we've launched online continuing education for doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and bud tenders. So a lot of states in the U.S. require bud tender training. Uh, California doesn't, but Arizona does, and uh, I think Illinois does. Uh, and this is a, a online platform for continuing education to get your staff really up to a level of endocannabinoid science that, that is realistic for this industry. Uh, so those are kind of the initiatives we've taken over the last seven weeks. Well, I'm just thinking about what you said earlier about painting cannabis new. Do you think people would pay to see you doing that? I'm not so sure, eh? I think me, personally. <laughs> <laughs> that would be expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, who, who are we like to judge? The, the type of things that, that people are looking uh, to engage around, around the cannabis space. So it, it's pretty exciting. Well... Thank you for c coming to talk to us at such short notice, man. It really is exciting. You've made it exciting. We, we're always excited about Canatech because it was a different place to be. It's a different stage to speak on. We were unusually nervous. We, it was a big, big deal to us being on that stage. And we will never forget it. And um, I just noticed some photographs coming up that we'd loaded that I hadn't actually seen for ages. And there were some pictures of the, the banner that you put on the outside wall of the exhibit of the of the um, auditorium, yeah. of the timeline, those beautiful blue banners. Mm. Yes, this dude, I had my eye on those for an exhibition. <laughs> they were super cool. So I took high-res pictures to print them out. So, awesome. I'll send you the files. There you go. So, so cool to see your face, man. So cool to talk to you again. Um, good luck with everything you do. You'll see us online on, um, on Monday lunchtime. Uh, I think it's at midday South African time for a few hours. So thanks for joining us, and um, love to the family, and keep yourself locked down, and d don't piss off the neighbours, and don't piss off the army or anybody like that, all right? Keep well, so... <clears throat> Stay safe, everybody. Thank Bloody you, Cheers. Guys. Cool. So that... <laughs> so it's... It's cool to just listen to people from around the world. Is it eight? <laughs>